What's good, YouTube? In this video, we're gonna be breaking down part three of our free ebook for regs. If you haven't uh, seen the rest of the series, there should be a link in the uh, in at the end of the video that will have the playlist for you if you want to check out the other two videos. If you're new to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. That way, you're gonna be able to know whenever we release new videos that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, what I wanted to do was teach you kind of my third play. And again, when I teach offense, when I teach really anything in Madden, I think that one of the big things that is really important is that all of your concepts, all your plays, they have a, um, they're intentionally designed and they have a specific purpose. And in this video, we're going to show you a concept that is going to really take advantage of a lot of the over adjusting that a lot of people can do um, whenever they're defending the trips tight end formation. And so we're going to show you today a really, really good concept and really a quick snap setup um, or a quick motion snap setup that is going to be really good. I'm going to give you two different setups um, in this video. The first one is really more designed for um, you know zone drops and then the second one is a little bit more designed for a specific adjustment that a lot of people like to do when defending trips tied in at least as a meta has kind of um, been exposed and a lot of people have really gravitated to the concept so we're going to jump into the video again for this offense you do not need any route uh, chemistries i recommend pass lead lead set feet lead or gunslinger some kind of velocity ability that's really all you need to run this and so it's my regs offense that i like to use for the packers and so the concept today that we're going to be taking a look at is the pa slot corner um out of the trips tied in now what we're going to get is a really good benefit you want to call this play when the ball is on the right side of the field ideally if you can and i'm going to give you kind of a couple of different setups like i said the first one um is a simple setup it's a quick snap type concept that we can run and we can get into it really 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 quickly um with this because it only takes one hot route for this to work so literally to set this first uh the first setup is really simple you're just going to streak the outside slot so as you see there alan lazard is on a streak this is going to beat every basic defense that you're going to face you're going to be able to throw that corner out against every zone in the game and one of the zones that a lot of people like to run um against the trip side in because it's so good against the tight end um against the tight end route is you know, like the tight end in route or something is a Tampa two. And this is a great cover two beater. And the reason why it's so good is because you see that drag will suck the cloud inside and it leaves so much room for you to be able to throw this corner. Again, it's a really good quick snap setup. You only have to have one hot route and you also are going to have a high low check down on the back side of this. So you see here that if the defense is falling asleep at the wheel, the whole middle of the field is open. One of the things that a lot of people like to do, um, especially if they're running some cover four, is they'll play cover four with hard flats and they'll basically say, you know what, blood, so we're going to, that's going to be our user and wherever the the uh the number three receiver goes they're gonna follow him in this situation that's gonna leave a massive and i mean massive hole in the defense right there where we can easily check down to Devonte adams so as you can see it beats cover two it beats cover three and it also beats cover uh or i'm sorry beats cover four it also beats cover three cover three probably does the best but as you can see here to the outside just a simple pass lead outside and it's a really good really um effective concept now on the back side of this, um, again, it's a traditional high low. So let's say for example, that the defense is running Tampa two, you can let this drag kind of run. You see how the yellows fall back and I can check that down for about seven to eight yards. Now you might be saying, well, Cody, what that's great about zone, but how does this concept fare against man to man? Actually fares really well. You're gonna see here that the corner route to the tight end, um, you wanna low ball that, pass lead outside on the cut, really effective route for, uh, for man to man, very difficult to um, cover with a user. And then the drag is a really great check down. You see how this play kind of, uh, whoops, I'm sorry, I totally missed the uh, three rec. Um, but you see how good this concept is especially against a cover one robber. I'm gonna show you one of the many reasons why I like this against cover one robber. So if you're facing a cover one robber and they're pressing you, a lot of times you'll be able to throw this over the top to the triangle receiver for a one play touchdown if you're getting a press animation and there's nobody deep because you're gonna get this natural rub within the trips 
um, which is one of the many reasons why I absolutely love this concept. You'll see it's very consistent. If they try to press you, they're gonna get a rub and he's gonna almost always get a release on that. Obviously you don't wanna keep throwing at the three rag. For some reason I can't stop throwing at it. I'm kind of assuming that it's a purple zone, but let me show you here real quick. Another thing about main coverage, um, the corner route to the left is, is it will get open. Um, as you can see right there, it's a little bit glitchy. If they're gonna press man you, honestly just hit your like just hit your deep streak it's almost always open um or your tight end corner both of those are really easy reads but if you take a look at this um this drag you'll see late in the play it comes wide open and that's a really simple check down so as you can see it beats man it beats zone um it also beats match coverage it's one of the best match beaters in this formation because you're going to see here that the natural rubs allow this corner to get absolutely naked um, against match coverage. I can see it's a real simple match beater. Um, this is gonna be every match in the game. I'm gonna go to cover six invert. Cover six invert plays very similar to cover four palms. And you're gonna see against cover four palms, a lot of times you have this guy to the corner pretty much every time you have him to the corner. So really easy to beat all those coverages. Now, um, we're gonna talk about zone drops in just a second, but I wanna show you a secondary setup that you can use because a very popular adjustment that people will do, especially out of a cover three, is they will take this, um, they will take this defender um, and put him in like a third. So they have a third coming from here, right? This is uh, Mike Blitz three in general, right? You could have this guy here. And, and basically they've got kind of a Mike Blitz three look, even though it's obviously cover or nickel three, three, five. But what they'll do is they'll put this guy to inside quarter. And why that is important is because this is an adjustment they also do to try to stop our crossing routes. So what you're gonna see on this is again, it's going to match onto the number three. Now to the corner, it's actually a little bit more open than it looks. And the reason why is because they run into each other. So I'm gonna show you this out of Mike Blitz three real quick. So again, um, you know, they might be in a situation where they do something like this, maybe use some vertical hooks underneath, but they're gonna roll the coverage just like this. Now, in this scenario, you can, okay, you can go back to, you know, if you get caught off guard or whatever, you can check it down to your tight end or your drag. You can easily work that concept. But again, don't give up on the corner route. Sometimes this thing will get open. Um, if you get in trouble, you can aggressive catch it. And in worst case scenario, it'll be a bat down or, or what you just saw. Um, so another situation that you might be in when they're going to a concept like this is again, they're gonna roll their coverage. So when they roll this coverage like this, they, there's really nobody on the right side of the screen. And that's one of the real key uh, things that we're gonna key on. So you're gonna get kind of a, a double flat look over here maybe. You might get a, you know, a user here, probably gonna get a three wreck here. And the point is the tight end is a legitimate option. So if you take a look at this tight end route, what you're gonna see here is when he cuts to the sideline, don't sleep on this. You can cut that off and make a catch right there if you want to. Um, or, you know, again, if they make that adjustment where they're they're gonna do that, check down to your drag. Your drag could very well be a great check down in this, in this situation if possible. Obviously, worst case scenario, you can go ahead and throw the ball away and live to play another down. But if they are doing the inside quarter trick, this is what you might want to consider doing. Um, and so what we're gonna do is if we start to experience that a lot, one of my favorite, favorite things um, to do from this formation is if I'm getting a lot of inside quarter, um, inside quarter type, you know, adjustment from the safety there, I'm gonna actually go ahead and do a quick motion. It's real simple. There's no additional adjustments. Literally, um, all we're gonna do is we're gonna streak the triangle receiver. We're gonna motion this guy to the right. And if you wanna put the tight end on a curl, you certainly can do that. I like the corner, but what you'll see here is now that inside quarter will not play him and that becomes wide open to the outside, okay? So that's kind of our secondary setup in a situation where, you know, they're starting to hit us with a lot of that inside quarter type adjustment. What this is gonna force your opponent to do, and you might've thought this through already, but what this is gonna force your opponent to do is it's gonna force them to go into their zone drops. Now, we remember from PA counter go, um, if I can get to the play here. We remember from PA counter go that we put them in kind of a position where they can't just simply go with, you know, something like this with a man coverage on, on this guy. This is gonna be really the most popular adjustment that you're gonna get because they're gonna try to stop the flat with the man coverage adjustment. Well, what you're gonna see is if you go PA slot corner, you're gonna see that there's no 30 yard cloud. 
And so this becomes a lot more open on the sideline. That's the whole purpose of this concept. Now, I wanted to give you one other quick pro tip about this. Most of the time, people are not going to run cover two against trips tight end because it's so simple to be beat. And one of the core concepts of trips tight end um, that we use in every single, um, any ebook you get on trips tight end will explain this. But basically what we're gonna see here is a lot of cover three. The reason I'm sig or, uh, saying that um, is because typically you're gonna see that they're gonna uh, move in when you motion at them. So if I streak this guy and motion this guy across, just like that secondary setup, you're gonna see that that cloud flap moves inside. When that cloud flap moves inside, it gives this guy right here all the room in the world to be able to glitch him out and beat him to the sideline um, against a cover three Mabel. Again, my flats are on 30. I showed you guys that a second ago. And what you're seeing here, and this is very, very consistent. And again, this motion snap, you want to have all your routes, you know, adjusted as best as possible because you don't want them to be able to have time to change their defense. You want to literally be like this. And what you'll see is this corner route gets so open against a cover three Mabel because it sucks inside. What the opponent has to do is they're gonna have to, uh, again, I'm gonna give you a couple solutions. One of the solutions is they're gonna have to play cover two with 30 yard clouds on the outside corner. That's the easiest one for this to be consistent. The second thing that they're gonna be able, or they're gonna have to do to try to stop this is they're going to have to base align their defense um, and then repress it. Now, again, this really isn't gonna do a whole lot, but you will see here, I mean, it does kind of get there uh, out there on that defense. So that's the easiest way that they can stop it. However, the problem that that creates is, let's say for example, that they are um, going to say, well, we're just gonna come out baseline um, against you. Well, what you'll see on the left side is you'll see a significantly misaligned trips tied in. And now what we can easily do is uh, go back to our PA counter go play and kind of go to this right here. And now Devontae Adams has a really good shot at hitting over the top. And then of course the whole middle of the field is open. So you're forcing, um, what this play does for your offense is it forces your opponent to have to Mabel the left side. They already have to Mabel the right side. Now they have to Mabel the left side. And then if they do those things where they, if they Mabel coverage, um, then what you're gonna easily be able to do with this concept, and I'll show real quick, when they double Mabel, it means there's no yellow zone. They're, they're, it's basically the, the yellow zone is their, is their user in the middle of the field and maybe a three rack from a D lineman that's going to be to the left side of the screen. So what you're going to be able to do now is when you motion snap this drag, he's going to pull the user inside, as you'll see right there, and then now your curl is open for a low ball. So real simple concept, but something that really opens everything up. And again, you don't need any hot routes at all for this play. If you're playing with the Packers in regs, one thing I did want to quickly point out, especially if you want to kind of hedge your bet a little bit against the 30 yard clouds out of a Tampa 2 look, um, is this setup right here because they do have outside apprentice. What you can do is you can post Devontae Adams. This is going to pull zones on the both sides of the screen. You're still going to have that, that corner route against cover three and then against cover two, you're going to be able to split the cover two for a one play score. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to get more on the trip side in, join our Patreon. It's only $10 a month to sign up. And the cool part about the membership is it gets you access to all 20 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive eBooks. In addition to that, you're also going to get access to our weekly update videos where we keep you up to date on the best ability setups, the best blitzing concepts, whenever we change an eBook, anything that we need to do to make sure that you guys always have the most up to date material for Madden. So I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description below. You can head on down there and check that out. Thanks for watching.